the elusive Raspberry Pi 5. If you go to the Raspberry Pi website, you will find no mention of a Raspberry Pi 5 or any kind of teasing of any kind. If you go on YouTube, you have people talking about the Raspberry Pi is canceled, even though it's only delayed, as well as you have lots of Raspberry Pi 5 April Fool's jokes, people saying that it's going to have a GTX 2090 or something crazy like that. I mean, right now, if you can even find a Raspberry Pi 4, you are out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. You are a lucky one. You are a unicorn there. But the Raspberry Pi 5, we are now, if you look at the trajectory of the Raspberry Pi, every three years or so, they come out with a new Raspberry Pi as far as the full-fledged single-board computer. I'm not talking about the Pico, and I'm not talking about the Zero. We got the Raspberry Pi 1 back in 2012 to 2014. Then we got the Raspberry Pi 2 a few years later. Then we had the Raspberry Pi 3 th two to three years later, and then the 4 three years later. Now... We are in a global semiconductor supply chain, but hey, Raspberry Pi Foundation has been three years, okay? When are we gonna get this thing? And I don't wanna clickbait you like all these other guys here, Can't, Raspberry Pi is canceled, as well as the people doing all the April Fool's jokes, which really piss people off sometimes because they actually think the Raspberry Pi is out and it will be here. But I wanna share with you in this video the latest interview that uh, you got Eben Upton right here. He was interviewed just a few months ago, as well as in my last video, whether we were gonna see a Raspberry Pi or not uh, last year uh, in 2021 and his updates on that. If you missed that video, you can go check it out. Uh, there will be, in this video, some parts are the same because what we're looking for in the Raspberry Pi is going to be similar. But back to the Raspberry Pi, will we see it this year? It is possible. It is very much possible. However, this is unprecedented times. There's a war going on. There's a global chip shortage, uh, supply chain issues, many, many other things going on. And the Raspberry Pi right now is ridiculously priced. The reason why the Raspberry Pi was so successful, one of the reasons is because of that price point. At $35, although at a low RAM, you didn't get much RAM for for that price, you know, the price would go up with how much RAM you have. It was a super contender for a, a, a PC company. So in this, in this interview here, he basically says, I'm done trying to predict anything. I've, I, you know, me as well as many other computer companies has, have made a fool of ourselves trying to predict this chip shortage, trying to predict future products and the success of the products. He did say that the Raspberry Pi uh, the Pico, as, ras as well as the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero 2, have been extremely successful. And like I said, you can't even buy them. A few months ago in my last video, when I talked about what was available, you used to even have the Raspberry Pi 400. But even today, the Raspberry Pi 400 is out of stock, which puts it in their core of what do they do, right? Do they ramp up the production of the Raspberry Pi 4? In my last video, I talked about a Raspberry Pi 4A, which is probably more likely. And then there's the Raspberry Pi 5. It is possible. So it is possible that we see a Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, as far as if you look at the release dates of the months, if you look at all the months they release things, they usually do things either on Pi Day, right, which is in March. They often do it in the beginning of the year, like a January, February or occasionally they've had a fall release. So is it possible that they surprise us with a fall release? It is very much possible, but at this point it's very speculative and the Raspberry Pi Foundation is kind of holding their cards because as much as they've got away with teasing things and getting things ready in the past, nowadays it's much more difficult. So as far as the Raspberry Pi, what the issue is, is it's pretty much all based on the chip although they are limited by space because they do want to keep this board the same and they want to be able to fit everything on here. And for those of you who aren't aware, the Raspberry Pi 4 currently has issues with both heat as well as its current power supply and a couple of little odds and ends there that um, affect people. So they need to not only figure out how to solve those problems, but in addition, people are going to want a performance upgrade. And whenever you get a performance upgrade, it tends to bring on more heat. There has been rumors that the Raspberry Pi Foundation wants to make their own microchip. They're working on this particular microcontroller chip, which has been 
extremely popular, but actually making their own processor or collaborating with somebody to work on that. Uh, they've been with Broadcom in the past. It'll be interesting to see if that collaboration continues and or they seek other vendors because back to this interview on, in this part right here about the current shipping situation as well as the sustainability of the Raspberry Pi, they talk about that now when they're looking at new boards and new chips that they want to have it so there can be multiple vendors or multiple options making it more of a modular board so that they can have other vendors fill those orders and things because I can tell you right now Add a fruit like I'm in the I'm in the United States. I know many people watch these videos are in the UK too. You know, there's different vendors, different retailers for for different countries. But I can tell you that all the vendors here, you know, the um, the Add a fruit, the uh, Vilros. There's many many vendors. When you go to buy, let's go to Raspberry Pi. Let's buy some stuff. That all of them are um, are are out. So if we go buy now. Uh, you can kit. For example, Vilros, Pie Shop, everywhere they're sold out. So before they um, before they start thinking about the Raspberry Pi Five, they really have to start thinking about. See, look at that. All oh, these are all notify me. Look at this. You got the smaller boards, even the Raspberry Pi Two W out. All the fours totally out. All the zeros totally out. We head over here. Um, they have the Pico. But let's try a Raspberry Pi 4 kits. They're going to be super expensive. You ready for this price? Boom. $150 if you want to get one. Crazy. Um, and then uh, back here, shop, Raspberry Pi kits. Again, it's going to be super expensive, which is a shame. It's a really a shame when Raspberry Pi, their whole thing is to get you know computers, PCs, these are single board computers, into the hands of uh, both uh, makers, but also gamers as well. So look, they only have the one gigabyte available. And it's $120. A $35 board. The one gig should be $35. So 3x. Now, a lot of you watching this video are going to be like, Drew, just, just go to the other. There's so many other single board computers out there. I get that. But this is for my diehard Raspberry Pi fans. There are other single board computers. There's a lot of Ryzen mini PCs coming out. There are way better bangs for your dollar, especially with this current price hike of the Raspberry Pi 4. But going back to the Raspberry Pi 5, the answer is they're not saying anything. It's 100% speculation. But you can. I'll link this video if you want to listen to it. He basically said they're, they're done you know, talking about that. However, I have. If you look at what's going on with Nvidia right now, they are when the crypto's crashing. So the graphic card market, which we thought was just going to go, keep going crazier and crazier and crazier, and then now with the launch of the 40 series Nvidia cards, um, that's going to that's going to again disrupt the market. So again, this is GPU, not CPU, but it's still the chip market. You see a lot of you know companies like HP, Lenovo of the big PC and gaming PC and and laptop market. You know I think they have a lot more inventory. So with a lot more supply in the market, I do think that the Raspberry Pi Foundation is going to be able to find vendors and is going to be able to find people to make those chips for them. And I think literally as we speak, it's probably happening. So I have high hopes that these corrections are happening a lot faster than we thought. So back to my predictions, yes, I think it's possible to have a 2022 late and or an early 2023 release. And uh, I think if they just make fix the old problems on the old board and then they um, keep the price point low, these things are going to sell like hotcakes. Additionally, just adding more stock to the Raspberry Pi 4 board. What will be on the Raspberry Pi 5? I find these types of posts to be some of the best from JFrog. They will probably be updating the Bluetooth. And then obviously it will have the better Wi-Fi, gigabit Ethernet, which it already has, maybe a few more, maybe all USB 3.0 ports. And I do like the idea that people are saying it will have two traditional HDMI ports. Remember, the Raspberry Pi 4 has the smaller HDMI ports. And a lot of people like the bigger ports. Now, um, you're also going to see... 5 volt DC. There's some of the issues with the current Pi are the charging port itself, as well as low power options. Getting the upgrade to DDR5 RAM will be a welcome upgrade. 
and being able to go all the way up to 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM will be a nice upgrade. Upgrading the processor GPU combo is also going to be um, you know, a welcomed upgrade. The added performance will be a welcomed upgrade, especially those looking to emulate Nintendo 64, Sega Dreamcast, and even some more advanced systems. If we can get some 64-bit support, you potentially could even play GameCube. The other thing is as a desktop replacement, the increased performance and increased RAM, we might actually be able to stream full 1080p on YouTube without any kind of running it down or hack or optimization. It should be able to play fairly natively. So those things are gonna be a welcome upgrade for sure. So there you go. It'll be awesome to see the Raspberry Pi 5 on the wiki page here, you know, having a 248. And some people are even saying a 16 gigabyte version, um, especially if a lot of the software for my people on my channel, especially if the software just go, it go you can just clone it over, reuse your micro SD cards, um, or even having that internal uh, storage, the eMMC storage, something like that would just be killer to have that as an option. It's a shame that there's been a little slowdown here, but I would be surprised if we don't see one in by the end of 2023. That's my prediction. Let me know what you all think, and uh, thanks for watching.